Hello, cadets. I am Ashi Williams. How are all of you? I hope y'all are all having a lovely day. Anyways, here today is VTuber 101. I hope y'all are ready as much as I am. As it's the Halloween season, here today is VTuber 101. And this is our classroom. to learn the basics and I'm quite nervous on this one as usually Devin or the commander covers all of this I mean obviously in the past previous seasons he used my voice changer for uh, everything and I'm quite nervous but, regard of all this, uh, let's begin. I hope you have your textbooks ready, and I hope you're willing to learn. Because without further ado, it's time for VTuber 101. How to connect with your viewers. This is going to be a rather interesting lesson, as each and every VTuber has a different community, or a different vibe to their community. It's really up to ooh, the VTuber what community they want to have. For us, we want to have a peaceful and kind one that obviously wants to learn how to become VTubers and enjoy our content such as video gaming and several other, other subjects. As we're more of a, a diverse pool of content, this Diverse pool content is hard to get a grasp around, and we understand that leaves a lot of people confused. But it's a really obviously we're a hodgepodge of different people trying to leave our mark in history. And now, without all further ado, let's talk about as a little duper. How do you make a connection with your overall community? Well, we're not quite sure on this one ourselves, as none of us are really considered loom tubers. In that regard, I know it sounds a little concerning. Oh, why aren't y'all loom tubers or something like that? Why aren't you like everyone else? Well, I will mention that it really falls on the VTuber. And I really should have had the advanced tracking on. But, uh, disregard all this. Lotubers, as far as we know, they get a connection while acting a bit all, if not entirely lewd. It's what brings in all the boys and girls to the yard. They act cutesy wootsy and obviously very, very horny and sexual. Um. It's something we rather not rely on here at Heart of Sea, but we won't deny a lewd joke or two brings in the crowd, and it's what's needed from time to time. Next, obviously, what about gamer tubers, right? Ones that strictly just play video games or react to videos. Well, this is where you obviously had to have a bunch of gamer knowledge. A bunch of video game knowledge and even that of overall just gamer prowess. With reaction videos, you have to be really overall engaging and funny and witty and have a charming laugh. <laughs> but uh, despite all this, I will mention that those are pretty basic, right? But knowing what to do with the content, but how do you open up with your community with them? Well, this relies on you doing something called marketing. You have to market your image across multiple platforms, from Twitter to Facebook to YouTube to Twitch.tv, 
Some even do kick, even though we highly suggest you don't do kick. And even more so. Oh, just overall. Oh, trying to bridge that gap. Now, a lot of VTubers, if not all of them, talk about their day, their lives, their history, and what they have done and what they haven't done. Sometimes, obviously, they mix a couple of fictional tales into the tale, or just straight out tell a yarn of a story. I know a lot of people would see this as lying, but in the long run, it's actually a form of storytelling. You should really have an open eye and ear to the storytelling, because you need to understand which story, what could possibly be real, or possibly be fake. It really overall just matters on person to person. For you to bridge this gap is important. But what if you can't stream? What happens if you get hurt, you get sick? What do you need to do? Well, this is where you have to go on your social media, such as Twitter or Facebook, or some obviously posting place tell your community that you're not feeling well. But you always have those people out there that telling you others that if they're lying, they're not feeling good, they're feeling great. They're invincible. They can never be harmed or sick. Well, to those people we say, oh, screw you, we're humans too. We're humans. If you not poke us, do not say out. If you not break our bones, do we not scream and cry? If you literally you don't, you literally put a bullet in us, do we not die? Honestly, people like this, who don't understand why we open these doors of informing others when we're not feeling good or we're hurt or we've been injured are truly heartless, cool individuals that will never understand the VTuber mentality or lifestyle or even that of content. Uh, this has been a problem with one person thinking they know everything but when they actually know nothing. It's very important to keep your followers and commuters up to date as it will definitely prove to be better off for your future. Now, also engaging in such storytelling of what you've been through in your life, or your current day-to-day -day livelihoods are also very important. It allows your community to know what's going on in your head while making a bridge of trust and communication. But you see, if we have an avatar, we technically can't overall but hello. Communicate with y'all on normal content creators, of course. This falls on the person behind the VTuber to open up a bridge of trust and relations between the two to obviously have people understand them. Of course, like I said before, a lot of people don't want this because they want everything to be happy, go lucky, day in and day out. Obviously, lovey dovey, touchy watchy, goody woody, tushy wooshy, e forms of content. It doesn't always work out that way. And in the long run, it really follows up on to the VTuber to obviously make y'all know that. We're human too, and we have good days and bad days. When we talk about them, it's to build a bridge of trust and relations between our followers and the VTuber, or VTubers in this case. I don't expect everyone to understand this, or willingness to understand. But one way or another, it's how it is, it's how is it done, and it's how it's going to be. These are how all VTubers make connections with their communities. It's your job to bridge that gap about talking about your livelihood, your day-to-day, -day, obviously, battles, 
I mean, even they talk about your favorite anime, cartoons, possibly video games, comic books, collectibles, figurines, model kits, etc., etc. It is always a VTuber's job to build a bridge of trust and relations by talking about their day and day-to-day -day lives and what they're truly interested in. Thank you so much for joining me on VTuber 101. This one seems to be a lot more shorter than I would expect. As I think I quite simplified it. But maybe in the near future we'll go into more of a complicated explanation. Until next time, I have been Ashi Williams. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, follow us here on Twitter, obviously. Donate when you got the time and the bits. We hope to obviously stream tomorrow morning. As guess what? I'll be streaming. And we will be going over VTuber news and gamer news with yours truly, Ashi Williams. Until next time. Here from the Balam Garden. During this spooky month of Halloween, for all of you on Earth, have a nice day. Or you know, maybe there's a ghost that's right behind you, willing to overall slime you. Better watch out. Bye-bye. Now, how do you turn this off again? Oh, here we go.